September 30th is the day of the dazzling truth. People born on September 30th are followers of truth. They will seek it and will uncover it at all costs. The perfectionist side of their nature will manifest in everything they do. These natives are the kind of people who think well before saying anything. Although they are quite impulsive, they will always have solid arguments to support their facts and opinions. When they make known the truth, they think about themselves that they best represent the struggle for justice. From this point of view they are hopeless idealists. For them it will not matter how negative the facts they reveal are. People born on September 30th are very attractive, if not in terms of physical, then in terms of personality. For them it is very important the impression they make on others. They are very careful with clothes, language and behavior in society. Perhaps in this way they are trying to seem invulnerable. Indeed people born on this day often hide some truths about themselves, truths they do not want to be discovered in any way. Most of the natives are not people who have learned about the true values at school or through study. All they know it has been gained through some pretty harsh experiences and events. Those born on this day may choose to study a particular area. Whatever the field of their studies, they will eventually come to be considered experts in it. They are able to absorb large amounts of knowledge. For this reason, it will be very difficult for them to be contradicted. Every time they say something, their arguments will be very strong. Often, those born on September 30th, they use their image to attract attention, whether they do it in a conventional or unconventional manner. They may be experts in presenting a public image and maintaining attention on them. Those born on this day have a special connection with people. They understand very well the reasons that cause people to react in a certain way. From this point of view, they should be careful not to manipulate their peers and begin to use them in order to be able to achieve certain goals. There is a pretty big chance that those born on September 30th become increasingly accusers and judge others increasingly more. They could exaggerate when point the finger at those who think might compromise the truth. This tendency to play the role of the accuser could get out of control. Because of this, others might feel forced to adopt a defensive posture in their presence. The latter should learn to be more tolerant and temper their start to condemn almost everything and everyone. Although very sensitive, natives of September 30th are able to take good care and defend themselves. Relying on their own power, they are able to remove any type of attack. Natives are holders of a type of precautions that will protect them most of the time. They have this quality because they are self-taught individuals who definitely have the school of life. Those born on this day should try to keep in touch with those around them. Through aggressive behavior they will not succeed other than to turn them all against them. In general, those born on this day are quite adept at everything regarding money. They can invest skillfully ensuring their financial stability. Tips. Despite your outstanding knowledge and arguments, you may not always be right. Be aware that you tend to manipulate those around you. Do not bully others. Have a more tolerant outlook. Try to put your household life in order. Numerology. Ruled by Jupiter. You are known to be ruled by day number 30, if you are born on the 30th of the month. There are many great personalities, political leaders, as well as artists born on September 30th. Monica Bellucci, Victoria Tennant, Dan O'Bannon, etc. Your numerology results show that Jupiter is the ruling planet. Jupiter is the guru of angels and the god of heavens. Under the influence of Jupiter, people born on September 30th have strong faith in selflessness, knowledge, wisdom, sacrifice and service. You belong to a category of people who have made great sacrifices, were famous leaders and patriots. But if for any reason the strength of your day got weakened in life, you may settle for a small job as clerk or accountant in an organization. You are normally intelligent, diligent, hardworking, and honest in your endeavors. You obey the commands of others, and you are disciplined and obedient. You expect similar traits from your subordinates. You are tough from outside, but soft inside. You believe in actions reasonability, and you are guided by your conscience. 
You do not mind helping others, even if you do not get anything in return. You are orthodox in your world views, are religious in outlooks, but stubborn enough not to change life in line with changing social beliefs. You are ready to help others, but do not like to ask for help from others. You may appear proud in your outlook, but in reality you are not. You are generally a person of great nature. You value self-respect more than material gains and thus, do not look for favors from others. You like to be involved in altruistic works. If active in politics or leadership, you are capable of attaining a high position. Whatever comes to you in life is only through the path of hard work, as you do not get success easily. You can grow in life slowly, you are a contented soul and happy to follow the path of hard work to get your success. You easily appreciate the selfless service of others. As a loyal servant, you are always ready to lay down your life for your country. You are also ready to pass through any type of hardship if it is for the common good. You believe in obeying and respecting your elders. You are a pillar of strength, if in clerical or administrative positions you may be serving influential officers, organizations or ministers. You normally want to avoid anything that may bring you a bad name. You believe in self-respect and are ready to help anybody with good intent. If for some reason you are weakened, you may become lazy and fond of addictive pastimes such as gambling. Also, if the power of the number three is too much, then you can become autocratic. In such a situation you can become sensual, borrow money from others and fail to repay. Your lucky days are the third, twelfth, and second. The activities completed on these days have very high chance of success. Numerology rules that your unlucky days are 6th, 15th, and 24th, in all the months. Avoid performing important actions on these days. You may waste time, money, and efforts. Amethyst is your most favorable gem. It helps in clarifying your decisions. You can wear yellow sapphire with a golden tint. Amethyst if of a violet hue will give you peace of mind and will prevent accidents and damage.